I'm going to read from my Fault Zone 2019 anthology, my story, Devil's Circus. I struggle for breath. I think of the people wearing face masks and complaining about how inconvenient they are and how they don't care if they get exposed to COVID-19. Wait until they're on a ventilator 24-7 and have tubes running down their throats. I focus on the glowing hospital bedside clock. It's straight up midnight. Fighting to stay conscious, my eyes open wide, but it gets dark, dark, and darker. Then my vision occurs. Then my vision returns. I look down upon the scene from high above. I know my body remains alive down there, but near death. My thoughts spin, befuddled, disconnected. I wear a white robe and sandals, colors on the collar and the front of the gown, and similar patterns decorating the bottom seam display the same barbero as my famous neckties. I sense weight, yet I feel as if I am floating. My senses register smelling, hearing, and feeling the same as ever. Cold permeates my soul, not a chill, but rather a warm desire for warmth. I equate it with being comfortable in my house on a cold winter night. Yet, I still want to light a fire, wrap up in a blanket, and sip whiskey. A bright orb hovers above. The light attracts me like a bug. Why? A shroud, an enveloping fog, approaches and begins to obscure the luring light. Lacking traction, movement toward the glow, or fleeing the shadow overtaking and starring me, does not seem possible. Mime acts pushing hands against an invisible barrier, feeling structure where none existed, comes to mind. Other souls float alongside. A mother clings to her children. The innocent glide towards the light. The adult cannot join them. She cries, flails. More souls pass by. The forgiven linger for a moment until the brightness absorbs them. Others, not penitent, scramble towards the light but remain in place. Night beams appear. Demons fly to and fro, snatching souls. Fiendish eyes gleam as the beasts shred victims with vampire teeth and raptor talons. I hear cries for help and shrieks of terror as the soul eaters encircle me. Somebody, someone, my plea echoes, help me, please. The phantoms leap. I raise my arms to protect my face. The creatures fly through them. Two jaws open wide. The hot, putrid breath of hell blows against me. Devoured souls in the throats of the beast, heads bumping against each other, squirm like fish in a net. A scream, the scream of a man falling off a cliff backwards, emits from deep within my soul. The snow snatchers the soul snatchers flee in a sudden fright, like a pot of seals attacked by a great white shark. A chaotic retreat. What horrific fiend strikes terror into those orgs? The luminance available fades into the encompassing darkness. A sudden and terrible demise awaits me. Wings flap sounding like those of a large bird landing. Sulfur vapor burns my nasal passages. Angelo, I hear my name called. Who, what? Dreading a painful shredding and a never ending devouring in the jaws of an unimaginable monster and anticipating instant extinction, my courage allows only a cautious peek in the direction of the one who summons me, an old man, 
wearing a robe, blood red and embroidered with gold thread, stands a short distance from me, as if on clear plastic or glass. To take advantage of our unexpected time together, the apparition says in a calm business tone, I would like to retain your legal services. Huh? Bewildered triggers a stopping of my feet, resulting in instability, and I float around like a panicked, untethered astronaut. Terrified, I struggle to obtain an up, un, upright standing position when the voice repeats, retain your legal services. He steps close to me and takes hold of my arms, anchoring me. Upright is stable. I wonder how he knows I'm a lawyer. Do I live? I whisper to him. My wannabe client backs off a bit and looks down at the action taking place. I don't have my crystal ball. The observer, observer says, I panic. Cold sweat moistens my sense of body. My teeth chatter. I wonder how I experience these physical symptoms without a body. I remember hearing of people still feeling an itching sensation from a missing foot after having a leg amputated. What's happening right now? Chattering teeth make it hard to ask. The elder waves a hand to supply such a moment no longer exist. Whimpering, my voice squeaks, who are you? I'm stranded in the afterlife near death as the Who song, Who Are You? plays in my head. Why does my mind still act as always? Your permission, please, to introduce myself. The gentleman, balanced a few paces away, expresses no sign of anxiety. Neck, ver neck vertebrae pop as his neck stretches with a head roll, indicating boredom with having to answer a question asked of him many times. Perceiving my accusation of God, the heavenly court called me Lucifer the Latin word for morning star, Venus. Heaven knew me as God's first creator, the angel of light, the creator of music, the Anatodian cherub, God's favorite, God's second in command, and the leader of the archangels. Lucifer, my voice sounds weak, timid, afraid. Satan points a finger at me. Will you present my defense? In what jurisdiction? The heavenly court. What law did you violate? Treason. The attempt to overthrow God and rule the universe. As a potential punishment. Eternal damnation. 